What's up guys? Hey, I was coming to give you guys an update on our house down here in South Florida. Again, it's a duplex. So uh, while we were waiting for the contractor today, my partner on this one had a really good idea. He's like, look, there's all these trees that need to be cut down and we've been waiting on the landscaper to do it. He's been here working, just messing around for like two weeks and not getting much work done. So he was like, let's just rent a chainsaw. It's like, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. So we ran up to Home Depot, got a chainsaw and some loppers and just went to town. So uh, I felt bad because by the time that the contractor showed up is right about the time that he, uh, that my partner showed back up to um, start using the chainsaw. And so I wasn't really able to help him, but he took one for the team and he just crushed it. So um, we got this space cleaned up pretty well. Again, it's a duplex, um, and there are just tons of trees here now. I don't know how in the world he got so much stuff done in like an hour. I mean, this pile is enormous. So now we just gotta hire somebody to come pick this up. Allegedly, the landscaper's gonna be out here tomorrow to finish taking away everything that he had cut down previously, but um, so as long as he shows up, we'll be in good shape. I'll take you guys through to the backyard and stuff in just a minute. But coming inside, um, the driveway is going to get re repaved on Wednesday. But this is where we're at today. So coming in, got our living room, <clears throat> bunch of furniture still to be built. Um, so we got two sofas going in there. This is our kitchen with the backsplash, got our farmhouse sink in there, and that's the green that the rest of our kitchen is going to be painted. I still haven't decided on this uh, light fixture, but I just really wanted to see it uh, with everything else here, but you can see it's like a seafoam green. And we got these cool pools that you'll see uh, when I show you next door, but um, yeah, this is our dining room. Got a bunch of stuff that I built last time that I was here. Um, our floating shelves cool like neutral geometric pattern because we just wanted a lot of texture here um got the white appliances on this one and under under this under the uh counter microwave um that way we don't use any of that countertop space um but again most of the stuff back here is in a similar state but had a little miscommunication about the mirrors, so they'll be changing that to go vertical. Um, the vanity ended up coming out really nice. Uh, still have a ton of touch-up stuff. Honestly, I'm kind of giddy about this closet because if you guys know anything about vacation rentals, like having backup storage and backup linens and towels and everything is amazing. So this was like a game changer for sure so we got a bunch of supplies have an extra one to two extras of literally everything because again this is like four hours south from us and i just want to make sure that everything is there when something goes wrong because it's not if it's when and uh it doesn't mean it's got to be catastrophic but little things you know things uh like quilts and comforters and sheets and stuff like that <clears throat> you know get ruined from time to time but everything came out really nice. Just a lot of little things that still need to come. So we'll be hooking up all that stuff. Got our two king beds. Then we also got, this is a, a full over a full with a pull out twin trundle. We'll put a little TV in here. So this will be like the kids room. This is the only bedroom that will have a TV in the room. What I've found is a lot of times the families <clears throat> like to have the kids separate um, especially the you know teenage kids and stuff like that um, oh this is really exciting this is our multi-purpose dining room table so it's a pool table as well as ping pong table so that's going to go over there never done that before always wanted to um, my partner had a great idea to do it and I was like yeah man let's roll with it so we did it and we got these wi-fi locks this one is basically all the same, except the backsplash is a lot different. 
Um, so as you can see, it's a uh, it's pretty cool. It's probably hard to catch the tones of it on video, but um, and I did make a decision to paint this wall right here terracotta, which is that color. Um, <clears throat> just made that decision like five minutes ago, but I think it'll it'll make it look a lot better. Uh, again, same dining room table, same couches. So we got a leather sofa going there, and then a um, shoot, I can't remember that at this point, but a blue pull-out sofa going there. Then the design is basically just a mirror image um, of everything next door. We just got to get all this stuff built, um, some different repairs, got to get some stuff hung. But again, <clears throat> it's all the same. Um, our guy that's coming to help us. Oh, and this is uh, something really cool. I don't know if I showed you on the last room or the last house, um, but that's a fan with a light built in. So when we have the bunk beds, kids can't stick their hand in the fans and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, hook up, hooking up these washers and dryers. Oh, I'll show you outside. This side's a little bit different from the other side because we did some like hardscape in here. Came out really nice. Again, Alex did an awesome job. There are so many trees that were like on the house today. They still got a little bit of work to do on this side, replacing this AC, because unfortunately halfway through the rehab, it took a crap on us. So um, yeah, landscape will be getting all that. We'll be putting some fertilizer and stuff like that over there. We actually installed those white vinyl fences um, because we have all the properties pet friendly that uh, all as many as we can so um, but yeah so I just wanted to show you guys kind of like a during because it's really chaotic I was pretty stressed out when I showed here showed up here last night because I was expecting it to be so much further along um, but the contractor that he's he's awesome and we just kind of instill the sense of urgency even more so than we have before and um, told them like we got to get this done this week so it's just this last like five to ten percent that's really been dragging along and I think that's the most important part because the devil is in the details right so we want to make sure we get all this stuff right get it dialed in because it's a lot of stuff that is really important for a guest experience and for from a consumer perspective when you go into a place you want to make sure that all the details are right and that everything looks the way that it's supposed to look uh, especially based off of the pictures so we want them to come to our house and be wowed by wow not not be wowed by oh my goodness this doesn't exactly look like it looks in the picture this place is kind of sad and they you know it's not as nice as it looked we want them to come and we want them to see that hey this place is even better than it looks in the pictures and I'm gonna post this on my Instagram I'm gonna tell everybody about this place so um, that's kind of what we're going for so you always want to um, under promise and over deliver not the other way around so um, yeah we got these this cool like teak furniture and stuff like that gonna be putting a shade sale up here eventually uh, this was covered with trees this morning but again you saw the huge pile outside and be taking all this stuff away so uh, but i appreciate you guys tuning in uh thanks for following us uh like and subscribe appreciate everything if you guys have any um any feedback or you guys like stuff or if you don't like stuff just let me know leave a comment and uh i'll definitely respond to you 